Welcome to Selenium Automation Testing. So today in this video, we are going to learn about how to handle CAPTCHA in our script. Okay. So this is the example of CAPTCHA. The first one is a mathematical CAPTCHA. We need to enter the addition of these two numbers 5 plus 8, 13 in this text box. Okay. And the second type of CAPTCHA is this one. We need to enter this number in this text box and then we need to click on the submit button so in this video we are going to learn about how to handle this mathematical captcha and numeric captcha so let's start with the mathematical captcha so let me refresh this with the, uh, now we have 5 plus 8 ok but after refreshing it will be any number each and every time we got different different number now we have 4 plus 4 so we need to enter 8 here ok so first thing is we need to get the after launching the url we need to get this text complete text ok we consider this text as a web element and selenium provide one method element dot get text right so it will return the live number at this time ok so by taking these two number we write the code for the addition and then we write the code for the send keys send this addition in this text box so first thing is we need to get this complete text okay what is number one plus number two okay so i have written the code already up to launch the url now the task is we need to get this text so we need to consider this text as a web element so we are going to find the web element so we use web element element is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath okay and let me create the xpath for this this one so after finding the xpath we use element dot get text method okay so now this element contain this id so i will use this id so just press ctrl f our element comes inside the label tag right so I will use id so I write at the rate id is equal to just copy this value for id and paste here control paste see one of one so just copy your xpath from here and paste here control shift f and control c now after finding the element we need to take this text right complete text so one method is provided by the selenium element dot get text method right so it will return the text in the string format so i will store inside the one string reference variable string str is equal to this one so i am assuming after launching this script i got this complete text this one i will show you how we are going to solve this this one right what is then our number one and number two so in a string this is inside the string right str so we need to take this number one and number two from this string so i will use one method substring okay i will show you how it works so in string each and every character is present at index value right and it always start with the zero inside this string index value always start with the zero so our w character is present at zero index h is present at one index a is present at two and t is three and vice versa four is fifth sorry space is at fourth index i is at fifth index s is at sixth index again space is at seventh index 4 is at 8 index again we have space is at 9th index then our operator plus at 10th index again we have space is present at 11th index and the last number is present at 12th index so this is the index value for the each and every character including space also right so from this string i want this number 1 which is present at 8 index and number 2 which is present at the end of the string the index number is 12th 
so I will use str dot substring right and I will provide the in starting index and ending index the second method beginning index and ending index so the first number is starting from index number 8 and the second and ends at index number 9 and our second number is starting from index number 12 and ends at index number 13 in a string if I will write substring from 8 to 9 so it will return character up to 9th index ok it will not return this space because it will return up to 9 only this one for the same it will return up to 12 only for the second number I have written 13 over here right but there is no index for the 13 but the meaning of this end index is it will return substring from this starting to this one it will not return character at 13 index it will return up to 13 index same here it will return up to 9th index ok I will store this number in a string string s1 is equal to str of substring and again string s2 is equal to str of sub sorry this is not sub sequence this is substring substring ok so after taking the number I need to addition so I need to type cast from string to integer so I will use integer i1 is equal to integer dot value of method and I will provide my string ok for the same second one paste ok now we have i2 and I will provide s2 here after changing from string to integer we need to addition so I will write integer i is equal to i1 plus i2 right so after addition these two number I will send the answer means addition of both the number in this text box in this text box so let me inspect this text box so for this text box I will use uh, this id attribute ok and it comes under the input tag so I will write the tag name input at the rate id is equal to I will copy this id for the text box just paste one of one just copy this xpath and create element in our script so we use element is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath and I will provide the xpath this one after finding the xpath after finding this text box we need to send the addition of these two numbers we have already written the code right so we use element dot send this is a method and I will provide this addition i ok but we got error because we got exception because send keys method is accept only value in the form of string ok we need to send string value so again we need to typecast this integer answer in the string format so we use string answer is equal to string dot value of method and I will provide our integer our answer I will provide i ok Control shift type and control c now I will send this answer in the send keys method control shift type and control c and let me print our number also sysot I will write number 1 and then i2 i2 plus space number 2 plus i ok control shift f and control c so first task is we need to get this text right after taking this text from this text we need to take the unique unique number the number 1 and number 2 and it will present it unique index so we use substring method 
means from this string we need to some we need to take some subs subs part this one okay so this is the code for the take sub string after taking the sub string the number for the addition purpose we need to type cast from string to integer so i have written the code for type cast string to integer okay then we addition the addition is here after addition of this two number we need to send the value but when we are going to send our answer in the string format so it will return an exception so we need to type cast this integer answer in the string format because this method will accept only string value or character sequence it means string so i have written the code from integer to string and then type casting from integer to string we have written the code for the send keys method so it will launch the url it will take the number okay it will take this string in the str from this str we take number 1 and number 2 then addition and then send keys so let me run this code the save and launch your script so it will get the current number okay let's wait for the execution this is the example of mathematical capture okay we have 8 plus 7 and the addition is 15 okay let me open eclipse okay number 1 is 8 and number 2 is 7 as you can see here the first number is 8 and second one is a 7 and the addition of this two number is 15 which is already entered let me close this one and i will run one more time for you guys control shift f and control c okay don't press control shift f otherwise this code will be disturbed just a minute yeah control c only let me run one more time okay now we have this 2 plus 3 and the addition of those two number is 5 which is already entered right i am not pressing this submit button because after pressing this button we got new captcha okay so don't need to count again and again right let's close this one now this is the example of mathematical captcha okay let me comment out this I will share this code on my blog and I will provide the URL of my blog in this video's description box. Let me comment this one. Okay, now it's time to handle the second type of captcha. Let me close this one. Numeric captcha. Right. We need to enter this number in this text box. Uh, guys, we have some limitations on Selenium, right? just like we are not able to handle non html window and the second limitation is this one selenium will not be able to solve this one okay we need to interfere manually in this script we need to enter manually this data and then we need to use send keys method i will show you how it's work okay let me change the url just copy and paste here i will change the url and i will show you how we solve this issue yeah okay so after launching the url this number will be anything okay just like this mathematical captcha so selenium will not be able to automate this one we need to manually read this value and then send this value in a in our script so how to do this okay so after launching this url we open one dialog box and we enter this number in our dialog box okay i will show you how it's work so just write okay let me open this one so we use j option i will show you j option pen dot show dialog box method is there show input dialog okay so this is the show input dialog okay and it will return string value so this is the formula okay i will enter 
enter your captcha so what it will return it will return some string value okay so i will store inside this string string str is equal to j option pen dot show input dialog so after launching the url okay it will open one input dialog it will it will launch one input dialog and inside this input dialog we enter this number manually okay i will show you let me run this control save okay it will open this code will open one input dialog okay and your script is paused okay just wait so this is the input dialog okay this text is already written enter your captcha okay we got some spelling mistake okay i will change it now so what we are doing this is the input dialog okay so in this input dialog we enter this number manually just like 303824 okay and in the background your script is paused right now okay your script is paused at this num this line which line where you written the code for the j option pen so okay i think we lost our input dialog okay let me close this one i will show you one more time okay so your script is paused okay i will return the code for the driver dot quit so it will be yeah driver dot quit control shift f and control save just a minute i will show you how it's work it will launch the url and it will open our dialog input box okay so when i click on this okay or cancel button our script is go forward but until it will stop okay i will enter our number 37 52 and 07 then i will click on the okay button okay as of now my script is in pause mode okay once i click on this okay button my script is resume just okay and this it will close the browser okay our browser is closed because we enter the number okay now our task is we need to enter this number in this text box okay so we have this number j option panel show dialog box so inside this dialog box we enter our number manually and we store inside this str reference variable so the our task is just we need to find this text box because this number is already present in this reference variable right str so after finding this elim this text box we need to use only send keys method and inside the send keys we use str so let me write web element element is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath okay this is the text box and we use element dot send keys and we send this number which we already stored just paste this one let me comment out let me remove this one okay control shift f and control c now we need to inspect this text box just right click on the text I uh, am sorry. Right click on the web element and click on the inspect. Okay. So I will use this ID. Let me create the export quickly. Just paste Control F. It comes under the input tab. So I will write input. And the ID is equal to. And let me copy this ID. Just copy and paste here. One of one. Okay. Just copy your export and paste here. paste and save and let me see okay this is the number and this is the text box so we get this number from the j option pen okay this is the 
class from the swing package and this is the method show input dialog is a static method save and we store our captcha right we store our captcha in this reference variable string and then we send our captcha in the text box okay but selenium does not provide this this type of selenium not provide some technique some methods to handle this type of situation okay in this situation we need to interfere manually right just save your script and i will show you how it works just run selenium comes with some limitation selenium will not be able to handle file upload pop up just like non html window and selenium not able to automate this type of captcha okay so this is the number and this is your dialog box so i will enter 797970 okay and i will click on the okay button okay and we got this number right 7970 because after taking this number we have written the code i will show you after taking this number and stored inside this str reference variable we written the code that send this number in the text box this one right i will show you one last time so this is the example of how to solve numeric captcha and once you click on the okay or cancel button your script is go forward with the new line okay so it will open the dialog box and i will enter this number 616084 is the number and i will click on the okay button so until i didn't click on this okay or cancel button my script is paused right now okay but i click on the okay button my script is in a running mode again so i have entered the captcha 616084 and i will click on the okay so it will run the new line the second line which is the send kiss method 616084 means we need to store this number in one reference variable of type string and then we send this number with the send kiss method okay so this is the example of how to handle numeric captcha this number will be anything number character special symbols whatever okay and we are able to use this method here also right until yeah this technique is applicable in this example also okay but better to take knowledge for the both the idea this is the mathematical captcha okay and this is the numeric captcha so i hope guys you get some idea from this video means how to handle numeric captcha mathematical captcha logical captcha or normal type of captcha so just like this one So I hope guys you get some idea from this video how to handle captcha in a selenium uh, in a selenium so if you really like this video then uh, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video guys i will share this url in my description box okay and i will share my code also i will provide the url of my blog okay if you want this code then take it from the blog okay and thank you so much for watching this video guys if you like this video then uh, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video guys thank you so much